Good damn afternoon, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. Good news coming out of Walter Reed Hospital in Bethesda, Maryland. So today I saw a press conference with the uh, president's medical team, his medical staff. Um, there's about 10 doctors up there. And it is an army hospital, but he had a lot of Navy people on his staff. I'm just saying. So his doctor got out there and was saying how well the president is doing and how they want to have him at the hospital for precautionary measures. I mean, this is the president of the United States, the leader of the free world. You're not going to treat him like the average Joe Schmo. You're not going to give him a Z pack and tell him to stay home. So, of course, it makes sense. Bring him to the best medical facility anywhere near him. Let us keep an eye on him so we can come back after his quarantine, ready to get in that ass like a bike with no seat. So, his staff, I'm assuming, has to be the best of the best, the cream of the crop. You think he has any affirmative action medical students on his staff? Fuck no. You think he gives a damn what color any of those doctors are? Fuck no. He wants the best because he wants the best chance to get back to 100% so we can get back to work for us. You think if any of those Democrat crooks the low pans and the shalosis of the world, the shits, I mean, Schiff or whatever his name is. Do you think if any of them got the sweet and sour sniffles, they would be like, no, no, no. I don't want the best doctor. I want the ones who got in school because affirmative action. Hell no, they don't. Because they know that's not how you get the best and the brightest. It's all a bunch of bullshit. When it comes down to them, when all the important stuff like your health is on the line, you want your best shot at life. They don't believe in that affirmative action horse shit. But I'll tell you who does. I've said it before. I will say it again because unfortunately, it's still true. California will not, all caps, will not be out stupid it did now let me allow you to explain how california is going to further their time at the top of mount stupid as fuck so gavin bang your wife newsome on wednesday you know with all of these things going on damn it i don't know how much of the media you get tells you but let me tell you being behind enemy lines in California. It's hazy outside right now because we're getting smoke from two different fires. Our children are still online schooling, sitting in front of a screen all day. I made a video the other day talking about how the principal is concerned with kids watching and sharing inappropriate material. Schools, shitty. People still going without electricity all right all these things are happening our state the state of california is three trillion dollars in the fucking hole yet over the last two weeks the exalted ruler of california has made it so after 2035 they won't sell any more gas-powered cars not sure how that helps us now he made it so transgenders can go to the prison of their identification. Not sure how that helps us now. And now he's going to start a committee, a nine person committee that's going to start looking into how we can pay reparations for slavery. Was California involved in any fucking way in slavery? No, not sure how that helps us now, but here's what's going to happen. This nine-person committee, I'm not sure who they are, but I bet you they're all probably former head of some diversity bullshit committee at some other company. So, 
these nine people are going to have until June to draw up a plan of how we're going to attack reparations, who gets it, where it comes from. Actually, I can answer that where it comes from for you right now. You and me. They already taxed the living shit out of us in California. They want to raise it even more, but they're going to give us something else to pay for. So they have until June to come up with a plan and they have one year or they have a year basically until June to come up with the plan and then a year to show how they're going to enact this plan. A year to really uh, give it some legs and see how it's going to work in the real world. And he said, as a nation, and I quote, as a nation, we can't thrive until we all have the opportunity to thrive. In quote. If only these people can govern as smoothly as they fucking talk. So, forgive me. All right, forgive my foolishness and my ignorance because I was under the impression that if you are born on this soil, you have opportunity to thrive. That's what I was under the impression of. That's why we got people flooding in here by the millions risking life and limb. It's because you have the opportunity. Because that's all people need is an opportunity. I don't want equality of outcome. I want what I work for. Because if you make it equal across the board, somebody's getting fucked and somebody's getting too much help. And I don't like that. The best way to keep it fair is to give you the equality of opportunity. So it's on you. If you work hard, if you buckle down and do what you're supposed to, you are going to be successful. Not me or this guy buckle down and works hard and I get to share in his success while he was working and sacrificing and getting up early and staying up late. I had my feet up watching TV. That's not right not only is it not right for the person who did the work but how could you as a decent human being with any pride and integrity take something that you didn't work for how can you suckle from someone else's teeth how could you benefit from someone else's labor that's fucked up but that's how it's gonna be <laughs> how many black people in california Huh? 17? That's black people in LA and the Bay Area. That's it. Of course they're going to take this on. How much money are you going to have to shell out? Well, they're not going to have to pay shit. We are. Put this shit to bed. Put this in a room and seal it off. I am so done. I am so tired of this slavery shit. Put it to bed. The reparation shit is a joke. What year are we in? An election year. You won't hear about this nonsense any other time, and we shouldn't. It is stupid. It is a fucking pipe dream. It's a lie. Every black person here is not descended from slaves. Who's going to pay? Who gets it? What if you're black and you come from a line of slave owners? Yeah, it happened. Because if only 5 to 10% of white people owned slaves, who was owning the rest? Just math, that's all. Just numbers. Excuse me. Let me take my numbers and go home. This shit is retarded. Stop it. Just because you're throwing money at the problem isn't going to solve it. You're going to make more of a problem. We don't need no damn reparations. What we need is you, you whack-ass garbage politicians like Gavin Newsom and his ilk, and you guilt-ridden white liberals to get the fuck out of the way. Can you do that? Can you step aside? I know you stepping aside is not going to quell your liberal boner to help a colored person. I'm sorry, that is not my fucking problem. I don't know how to help you sleep at night. You got to deal with that. But this reparation shit, this systemic racism bullshit, you need to take that, shove it directly up your ass and go somewhere else with it. You're making it more difficult. 
You trying to help is making it more difficult. Stop taking my tax money and get the fuck away from me. Now let me get home to my beautiful wife and kids. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell because every time it rings, a piece of shit liberal cries. Get your Jericho Green notification tone link in the description box. Utilize the PayPal link and the Teespring link to get your green gear. I am Jericho Green. Man, I'm out.